Hi, good morning, one and all. This is from GNN News. And in today's topic, we are going to explore on what are the sequential steps after landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's surface. Chandrayaan-3 propulsion module. Chandrayaan-3 propulsion module, which separated from the lander on August 17th, continues in its orbit around the moon and will carry out a series of experiments over the next few months and even years. Astonishingly, it has over 150 kg of fuel left which is, has boosted its lifespan to several years from the initial estimation of 3 to 6 It is equipped with spectropolymetry of habitable planet Earth, payload which will conduct experiments such as measurement of variations in polarization from clouds on Earth, a spectroscopic analysis of Earth's atmosphere, and collect exoplanet signatures that would identify habitability. Vikram Lander The Chandrayaan-3 lander named Vikram will open up on one side, creating a ramp for the Prasian rover. This will only happen after a period of about 4 hours, when the lunar dust that kicked up during the touchdown due to moon's weak gravity has set. During its lifespan of one lunar day or 14 Earth days, the Vikram lander will conduct a series of experiments such as Chandra surface thermophysical experiment that is CHA-STE for measuring the thermal conductivity and temperature and the instrument for lunar seismic activity that is ILCA for measuring the seismic activity around the landing area on the lunar south pole. The Langmuir probe LP aboard the lander will allow to estimate and gas plasma density. It will also use NASA's passive laser retroreflector array to carry out lunar laser ranging studies. Pregian rover The Pregian rover, which has the tricolor and ISRO logo on it, will use its navigation cameras to scan the surface of the moon, moving at about 1 a speed of 1 cm per second, it is fitted with an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer that is APXS and a laser introduced braking spectroscopic that is LIBS which will allow it to conduct a qualitative and quantitative elemental analysis of the landing site, study the chemical and mineralogical composition and determine the elemental composition of the lunar rocks and soil in the vicinity.